Hey guys, it's Sunday morning. We're down to our last uh, 90 to 100 acres to spray. We wish we would have gotten it sprayed a lot sooner, but we just didn't because it's been raining almost every single day. Just about every night up until the last three, four nights, we've been getting uh, two to six tenths of rain almost every night, so that's kind of kept us out of the field. We've had a lot of windy days and stuff like that. It's Sunday morning, the breeze is pretty low, so I'm gonna load this thing up. I'm gonna go out and finish that last 100 acres. All right, we got it all loaded up. Now we just take a minute, set our computers up here, continue with that coverage, shift over, top off the tank, uh, adjust our rates. I'm gonna wanna go back down to 10 gallons an acre. Flip it to 10 there. And over here to the field view. We will pick out our field, make it active. There you can see, you could see what I had sprayed. Uh, and I'm gonna edit a, let's see, I'm gonna get rid of this product. I'm gonna go through here and make a new tank mix because we ran out of the main chemical that we were using. We're down to this last 100 acres of this field. So we just bought a few jugs of a different type of chemical to spray that out. So I'm gonna put that into the field view here so that I can keep track of where the two different products are in the field, just in case there would be any major differences that I wanna take a look at. like where I'm driving on right now where the beans look nice and green. Then we got strips like this and that behind me there where the beans are just kind of yellow. Here they're short. Uh, and that yellowing really is just a product of what we've gotten with all the rains lately. There's just been too much rain. Uh, the south half of this field has a little bit of drainage under it, but not enough. And it's difficult to spend a lot of money on drainage when you don't own the field. This is a rented field, so we don't own it. It's tough to make that kind of an investment to put all the drainage in that maybe it should have. Uh, this isn't a bad field, but there's just some areas here on the south half where it, it would see a lot of improvement from some drainage. Um, this isn't a soybean variety issue. This is just an issue with too much rain over too short of a time. Hopefully some of the heat we're supposed to get this week, click the rate up here in this weedy spot. Hopefully some of the rain we're supposed to get this week helps us with that and uh, we see some of these crops kind of come back and green up, get that nice dark color back to them. We're gonna be hurt a little bit on yield no matter what already, uh, just because of, of all those rains for so long. But if we get some heat here and things turn around, there's no doubt we can still get a good crop. We may have taken some of the top end yield off of the stuff just by drowning out a lot of those low areas for too long. But honestly, I, I don't see I don't see our stuff being too hurt right now. Uh, not quite yet. I, I think we still have the potential to have a really good crop.
it guys we are done spraying for the spring anyway uh, it'll be aphid spraying next time we spray maybe we'll get lucky and we won't have to spray soybean aphids but that hasn't been the case uh, that actually hasn't been the case for several years now we've had to spray aphids all the time I can't get my camera to sit correctly so I'm, I'm barely on camera here but I apologize for not getting more spray videos out the fact is that dad typically does 90% of the spraying. He knows what's going on and uh, I'm good at other things. So we just kind of split it up and stay efficient that way because he knows what he's doing with the sprayer. And, and I kind of tend to work on other things. Just like I spend a lot of time in the corn planter. Uh, he does all the pre-emerge spraying. That's just kind of the way that it works out. But we're done spraying now. Anyway, we're done spraying now up until we spray the soybean aphids if we have to. I will try my best to get some uh, video of that because I think that would be interesting for you guys to see. It's the same operation, the same unit, the same machine that we use, uh, just a little bit different uh, little bit different application, obviously. We're trying to kill bugs, not so much weeds at that time. The corn's all sprayed. We won't spray any of that again. Thanks for watching again, guys. I appreciate it. <laughs>